Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm gonna show you how I go from short and curly to long and straight. There is a, uh, like a, I guess you could say a traditional way of putting on a three-fourths U-part wig, which is what I have. You would part your hair in a U-shape so that you can have some hair left out to cover up your wig, and then the rest of your hair, you would braid it all up into cornrows so that it lays flat underneath your wig. But I don't really like to take the time to braid all my hair up into cornrows every day or even have them in cornrows all the time because I'm not good at cornrowing. I don't know anybody who is good at cornrowing. And uh, I don't really just like to have braids in my head like that. It's uncomfortable. So what I do instead is a little bit different. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. Okay, so what I use to get my hair from natural and short to long and straight, which means putting on my wig, is just a rat tail comb. And I need a clip to hold my hair out of the way. I use a few bobby pins and I use a few little tiny little rubber bands. I don't know what, ew, it has hair on it. I don't know what exactly you call these types of rubber bands, but you know, the actual rubber bands. What I'm going to do, first of all, is part out my U part. And on my wig, I have her here with me in my lap. Her name is Tatiana. She is very old and a little bit crusty. I think I'm about to make a new one with new hair. Um, I think I'm going to make a curly one this time. If you guys have any hair suggestions for me as far as styles, textures, types, and places where I can get it, um, I have a small budget so keep that in mind. I want to get some human hair and I think I'm I think I'm gonna go for curly I'm not sure but um, I'm just looking to make a new wig since this one is very old um, it has got a lot of wear and tear so I'm looking to make a new one so if you guys have any types of hair that you guys would suggest feel free to let me know down in the comment section below but anyways, my wig is very ghetto. That's also why I need a new one because when I remade it, I did the hot glue method, which was a trial and error type experiment thing. And it worked out okay, but I still have, if you want to go back and watch that video, you'll understand better, but I still have little pieces of plastic bag stuck to the inside of it. And yeah, but it's in a U shape. The top, this is the top of the wig. This hole right here is where your real hair comes out. So here is my U shape. So I'm gonna part my hair in this same shape. It's hard to show you, but I guess I'll just show you. So what I'm gonna do is take this big afro and part it. And basically I kind of just use the arch of my eyebrow as kind of a, a guiding point. So I'm taking my rat tail comb and I'm going to look in this mirror over here and part my hair. So I'm just parting a straight line. It doesn't go very far back because I have to keep in mind the shape of my wig. Then I do the same thing on the other side. Then I just look at it and see if it looks wide enough or thin enough right there in terms of how my wig is shaped. So you can see it makes a U shape. And I think it's a little too wide, so I'm going to take some out. You just kind of have to play with it to get it right. And after you do it several times, you kind of just know. Sometimes you have to try it on your wig and see if it's right and then take it off and fix it. But after you practice it, you kind of just know how it's supposed to look. So I'm just fixing it and making it perfect. That. Then what I'm going to do is take this hair, because this is the hair that I'm going to straighten and lay over top of my wig. So I need to get it out of the way for now. So I'm clipping it up like this. There it is. So that's how much hair I'm going to be leaving out. And now I look like Bozo the Clown. What I'm going to do with the part that is right next to my part is braid it. So I'm taking a little chunk of hair that's right next to my part and I'm gonna braid it just in a regular braid. I could cornrow it but it really doesn't matter I just need to get a braid in there but I want to make sure to leave out a little bit of hair in the very front of my face to help hide my wig as well so I'm leaving that out but I'm gonna braid this first section in just a regular braid but I want to make it kind of tight to my scalp. So I'm just taking this first section right here and braiding it in just your regular braid. 
I could cornrow it down, but it really doesn't matter. It's easier for me to do a regular braid, so that's what I'm going to do. And you don't even have to go all the way down. I'm just going to do it like that much. And then I'm going to bobby pin that down. Now, obviously, if I would have cornrowed this, it would have been down by itself. But since I didn't cornrow it, I'm just using a bobby pin to make it like a cornrow. This is a good trick for people who don't know how to cornrow. You can just do regular braids and pin them down. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side so it's symmetrical. Leave a little bit of baby hair out, but take that section that's right there and braid it normally. These braids are going to act as anchors for the clip of my wig. My wig is going to be attached with clips, but if I just simply put it in my hair with no kinds of braids, the clips can slide through my hair really easily, causing my wig to slide down and fall off. With the braids, it has something to anchor onto right here, so it can't slide anywhere because it just runs into the braids and it can't go anywhere. So right now I have a braid right here, if you can see that, and the same braid on the other side, but I made sure to leave out hair in the front to help hide my wig as well. So, taking that hair from the front, going all the way down to my ear, I'm going to keep a little bit of hair. I just want to leave some hair out in the front, so I'll take a bobby pin or a rubber band or something and clip that out of the way. So now I have all my leave out. This is gonna be left out and the top is obviously gonna be left out. And I have my anchor braids for the two clips that are in my wig. And I look real crazy, but I can't just put my wig on over top of this big afro cause it's too puffy. So what I'm gonna do is tie it down using rubber bands. So I'm gonna create a half of a ponytail so I'm taking the top half of my hair because my hair is too short to just put it all in one ponytail so I have to do it in sections so I'm taking the top half of my hair like I was doing a half up half down hairstyle and I'm taking my little tiny rubber band and I'm gonna tie my hair back this just helps it lay down flatter so that my wig can fit over my hair. So now, instead of being this big afro, I have this little tiny little ponytail. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom layer of my hair to get that pulled back out of the way. And my hair is still too short in the front to reach back into the ponytail. That's why this part is hanging out. It doesn't reach the ponytails. But I'm going to pin that down. So now I have a top ponytail and a bottom ponytail and it just tied all my hair back and flattened out the way so that my wig can fit. And with these little pieces to the side that don't fit in my ponytail, I'm just going to gather them, kind of twist them back so they stay in place and use bobby pins to hold them down flat. Might have to use a couple on each little section just to make sure that it is secure same thing on the other side there now all my hair is put away so that my wig can fit on my head because obviously it wouldn't have just been able to fit over my afro so now all I have to do is go and straighten my leave out sections which is this section this section and this section I'm just gonna use some heat protectant spray and go and straighten these and I'll be right back. So now I've gone and straightened my leave out and it kind of looks like I have a cute little bob going on right now. I wish my hair looked like this but in the back it's it's not it's not a cute little bob. When I was straightening my hair I kept in mind how I was going to style it. If I was going to be doing a middle part, I would straighten my hair into a middle part. But I'm doing a side part today, so I straightened my hair into a side part. Because um, you don't just want to straighten your hair in any old way because then that's how it's going to lay. So I straightened it into a side part. I made sure to straighten some hairs going backwards so it can cover up the back of my wig. Uh, what do you guys think about me um, kind of getting a bob like this? Maybe this can be my new transition straight style if you know what I mean I don't know what it would take for me to have a cute bob like this but I have to cut a lot of my hair off to get it like this I'm not sure I need you guys' help because I obviously don't know anything I have my hair straightened so what I'm gonna do is clip this all back up so I'm just gonna gather all the straight 
pieces that I have. I can just leave the side parts down because they just, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to take my straightened leave out, clip it, and now I am ready to actually put my wig on. Well, here's my wig. Here's Tatiana. Like I say, she's a little rusty and crusty. She's long overdue to be replaced, but I just have not gotten around to finding another solution, so I just continue to wear this. Another thing is that you might notice that she is darker than my natural hair a little bit now because my natural hair bleaches in the sun really easily. And with it being summer now, anytime I step outside, my hair is basically getting lighter. So my hair has lightened up quite a bit, even though we're like not even halfway through summer yet. So as you can see, it's a little too light for her, but it still blends okay. And you know, I still wanna be able to have my long hair so I continue to wear it. But like I said, I'm looking to make a new one. So I'm just gonna take the two clips that are in the front of the U part of the wig. So here's the U-shape. The clips are right here. I'm grabbing onto those, swinging it behind my head, and I'm going to attach the clips into the braids that I made right here. So I'm just bringing them up over and sliding the clips into the braids that I made, which are right in the front of my head, and clipping them down. I want to make sure I dig them in there really good because we don't want this going anywhere because these are the only two clips in the whole wig. You can put more clips all around the wig and therefore make more braids to clip it into, but this is going to close. <laughs> close. Close. There it goes. So um, but I only did these two. So boom, you're done. Just kidding. So then I have to bring the wig down around, place it, you know, correctly around my head. It's made with a stretchy dome cap, so it just kind of stretches down over my head and stays on um, because it's stretchy. So it just kind of stretches around my head and stays on. That's why I only have two clips because it's kind of like a headband. It just stays on because it's elastic. So I'm just stretching it down around over all those ponytails that I made and everything. And there we go. And here you can see how my hair is like not the same color as the wig anymore, but I just kind of blend it through so that's not as noticeable like so and then there we go we have it on and it's very secure like it is not going anywhere especially with these braids make all of the difference if I would have just clipped it into my hair without those braids being there it would like slide through my hair and just fall out but the braids keep it in place so that's how it looks and then of course I take this part out and I place everything where it should go to help cover up everything that I got going on in the top of my head. And a lot of times I have to go back with my straightener to kind of straighten the hairs into their exact place. Um, but for this, I'm not going to do all of that. So I just kind of comb and blend, 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 cover, cover, cover. And yeah, I don't need to a new one because look how light my hair is compared to this all of a sudden. My hair used to perfectly match this wig. I swear to you it did. But as soon as the sun started coming out, it doesn't match. Um, so I would just take my straightener and kind of straighten that better and blend it in better, I guess you could say. But for now, you guys get the gist of it. And then with the actual wig itself, you could obviously go back and style it, curl it, straighten it, brush it, whatever you need to do to the actual wig. Just make sure that your real hair is blended into whatever you do. So there we go. Now I have my wig all put on and this is how I do it. This is something really easy to do it's easy to make the wig I've made two videos about making this wig um, and it's easy to install it and I love this because you don't have to have a sew-in you don't have to have braids you don't have to have anything that's too permanent you can literally put this on and take it off every day I take this off at night because I do not want to sleep in hair so I take it off every night I let my hair loose I feel free and comfortable and I go to sleep and I sleep like a baby that's what I really love about this hair I can take it off and wear my natural hair out any other day that I want to so this is why I don't put braids all up in my hair because I like to switch it up so I don't want to have cornrows in my hair I want to just be able to let my hair out really easily and switch back and forth between wearing my wig wearing my natural hair, wearing other styles. I just really like to switch back and forth. So this is something that is very temporary. You just do this on whichever day you want to wear it. So this is the hair. That's how I do it. Um, a lot of people have been asking me for um, a video kind of like this because they are just so confused of how I sometimes have a big curly fro and I sometimes have 
long straight hair so yes it is a wig this is how I put it on and yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys so I'll give you a 360 and yeah so thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something and don't forget to leave your suggestions down below of what type of hair I should get for my next wig if I should even make a next wig if not what should I do with my hair do you prefer my hair just out and natural or do you prefer it in a wig and what do you think about me getting a bob so that I can wear my natural hair straight and what kind of bob do you think I should get? I just love you guys' suggestions. That's why I always ask you guys to leave so many different types of comments because I really like to see what you guys think because I love getting other people's point of view. So just leave all your suggestions about my hair down below and I'll definitely read all the comments. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. From curly to straight. What? From big. From short and curly to long and straight. To long and straight. To long and straight. From short and curly to long and straight. To long and straight. To long and straight. Wow, this is so awkward. Today, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I go from short and curly to long and straight. From short and curly to long and straight. This is going to be a long video with a lot of bloopers. Do y'all care to see the bloopers? Do y'all like to see the bloopers in my videos? Or should I not put bloopers in my videos and just leave it out? Hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> Big curly fro was like casual, kind of mom on the go kind of look. I don't know. I really this hair is so rusty and crusty. People always ask me, oh my god, what kind of hair is that? It looks so good. Where'd you get your hair done? Where'd you... Like people go crazy over my hair when I'm like walking through Target and stuff. This lady, she like came racing behind me in her car and was like, hey, wait, well, your hair looks so good. Where'd you get your hair done? I'm new here. Refer me to a salon. Refer me to a type of hair. Refer me to a hair store. And I was like, girl, you know what my advice? Okay, it looks okay, but if you touch it, it feels like, hey, it feels like Barbie hair or something. This is not, no, no, this ain't no Brazilian wavy. This is some beauty supply cheapo hair that I have been wearing for quite some time. Way too long. I have an interview to go to and I'm just sitting here making videos. I need to go get dressed. I got this red tank top on. <laughs> Bye. Subscribe to be updated of new videos, like this video for more like this one, check out my online clothing store, find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, and thank you for watching.